Here is a quick refresher. If you're a fan of college golf or if you're watching for the very first time in 2022, those six regional sites that will have 12 teams and six individuals competing at each of those golf courses. 27 automatic qualifiers that won their conference championships and 45 at large will get the nod today. The top four teams, that's the critical number. Finish in the top four in your region. You're going to move on to Greyhawk and then the top two individuals from non-advancing teams at each regional will advance to the NCAA championships as well. They are May 20th through the 25th at Greyhawk in Scottsdale. Let's take a look at the number one seeds across the country. Stanford, the number one overall seed. They began the season ranked one. They are still the top ranked squad, but a lot of others have been narrowing the gap between the Cardinal and the rest of the country, like Oregon, the second seed, South Carolina. They're going to be in Tallahassee as the three seed. Wake Forest fresh off an ACC championship heading to Franklin, Tennessee. We touched on San Jose State. They're going to Ann Arbor, Michigan, and then Oklahoma State, the sixth and final seed. They'll be playing host to their regional in Stillwater, Oklahoma at Karsten Creek Golf Club. So let's go out west to Stanford Golf Course in uh, Palo Alto, Stanford, California area, if you will, on the farm. One of the late ads, the two regional ads, when they went from four to six for the women, Stanford as we just told you, number one, they're at home. But here is the rest. Not a surprise to see USC stay out there as well. LSU, the Southeastern Conference champs, they're going to make the journey as well as some others going from east or midwest all the way out to the west. I think that's always one of the intriguing storylines to keep an eye on as these squads look to secure one of the top four spots and move on to the national championship. Stanford, number one all season long, runner up at the Pac-12 champions chips a couple weeks ago at the Franklin Regional, which will be played at Vanderbilt's Legends Club in Franklin, Tennessee, hosted by the Vanderbilt Commodores. So some Southeast flavor, see if some teams are going to be making a long trek across the country or maybe some others that can just hop in the school van and drive a couple of hours. But we know the number one seed, the Wake Forest Demon Deacons, the ACC champion, ranked fourth in the country. They have won five events in 2021 2022 led by rachel keen carolina chikara also a wonderful addition to the squad led by head coach kim llewellyn it was their second acc title in the last three years wrestling maybe that mantle away from the duke blue devils as the best team in the atlantic coast conference who will be joining the Demon Deacons in Franklin, Tennessee, the Alabama Crimson Tide, Aggies from Texas A&M, Duke as a four seed, haven't seen that in quite some time, Oregon State and Vanderbilt rounding out the top six. Again, if you're just jumping on board, the top four teams from each and every regional will advance and punch their ticket to Greyhawk and the NCAA championships. And Karsten Creek, hosted by Oklahoma State, Seen a lot of national championships there. Host to many regionals for both the men and women as well. One of the most demanding golf courses you will ever come across in the college game. We know the Cowgirls are number one seed. They're at home. Who else will be making the trip to Stillwater? Arizona State, the Sun Devils as a two seed. The Baylor Bears, a three seed Auburn coming out of the SEC. Michigan State, they round out the top five as we take a look at the 12 making the journey to the state of Oklahoma. So we're going to make our way down to Albuquerque, New Mexico. The championship course at the University of New Mexico. And be intriguing to see how this one plays out in terms of we know Oregon is the top seed, but the rest of the folks that are going to travel from all around the country Moving uh, their way to New Mexico, the Florida Gators out of the SEC, Texas from the Big 12, Arizona from the Pac-12, and Georgia rounding out the top five seeds that will make their way to that championship course in Albuquerque. But one of the great stories in all of college golf this year, the Oregon Ducks winning the Pac-12 championship for the first time in the history of the program. They are currently the second ranked team in the country. They have won four events throughout the course of this season. A couple thousand miles to the panhandle of Florida in Tallahassee, Florida, where that regional will be played at Seminole Legacy Golf Club in Tallahassee, Florida State, the host institution for this regional site. And 
intriguing. We know South Carolina is the number one seed. The Gamecocks can probably make that drive from Columbia, South Carolina, ranked third in the country. They have won five events, which is a single season program record. There has been a bit of overhaul of this uh, squad over the last 12 months where undoubtedly they were the number one team in the country headed to Greyhawk a year ago. Quite simply, they didn't get the job done. Kalen Anderson has certainly reloaded in a big way. UCLA, they're going to go west to east as the two seed. The Seminoles playing at home, a three seed. Old Miss, the defending national champs. Can they go back to back? It will be interesting to see if they can pull it off. Illinois and Mississippi State rounding out the top six on that one. They are one of the very best teams, currently ranked fifth in the country. They've won four events. All of those in the spring continuing to get better and better as that's, uh, this season moves along. And they're looking to hopefully push that story all the way through to playing for a national championship in a month's time at Greyhawk Country Club. But before we get to Greyhawk, if you're San Jose State, they've got to go to Ann Arbor, Michigan for that regional at the University of Michigan golf course. And could be chilly could be breezy. You never know what you're going to get in Ann Arbor in early May, but it is a fantastic golf course. And we take a look at the other teams that will be joining San Jose State. Virginia, they're going to make the flight up from Charlottesville as the number two seed. Wolverines at home, number three. Arkansas, UCF, Virginia Tech rounding out the top six for our final regional unveiling here on the show, getting you ready for Greyhawk. We're gonna take a look at the individuals moving along to regional sites across the country. One of the great things the NCAA committee shared with us earlier today, from going four to six regionals, it allowed 12 more individuals, student athletes to get the opportunity to represent their schools, like Victoria Schrodel from Fairleigh Dickinson, her brother, who's a volunteer assistant for FDU, won the conference championship three years earlier. So hats off to the Schrodels for keeping that journey alive. Franklin, Tennessee. Let's see what individuals are going there. Tennessee was one of those bubble teams. Would the volunteers get in or not? Unfortunately for the program, not getting a regional nod, but Michaela Bardwell will do her best to serve Tennessee well. Maybe they make a little noise as she gets to stay in her home state in East Tennessee State University. They got a couple of players as individuals as well. From Franklin to Ann Arbor, you would expect sort of that Midwest flavor from Indiana being represented and Notre Dame and Creighton and Northern Illinois. Can never overstate enough the importance of it is for a student athlete to get that chance. Their program may be a down year of rebuilding for, uh, for these young ladies head to Ann Arbor, uh, a great chance to represent their schools. And you never know, maybe they get through and make it to Greyhawk. Stillwater, Oklahoma at Carson Creek. How about Kristen Giles? She was an automatic qualifier winning her conference championship, but the folks at Drake weren't 100% sure that that was gonna be enough. They called the committee, they said yes, that conference individual title does get Kristen in, so congratulations to Kristen Giles. She's headed off to Karsten Creek and see if she can keep it rolling right along. Stanford, our first regional site, and what a story Kristen Beatty is. Make that Kirsten Beatty, apologies, at Nebraska. Go back five years ago. She's a walk-on for the Cornhuskers. Now a fifth-year senior. What a way to wrap up your college career to uh, go one more week, at least, and represent the program that has meant so much to that young lady for the past five seasons. And our final site, Albuquerque, New Mexico. The individuals there, a couple of Lobos. They were potentially going to get in as a team. The numbers didn't fall their way, so some home course advantage for those two ladies. San Diego State as well 